women have improved in the West? Here in Ganzar, they're about the first in the world. It's no exaggeration to say that these women live their lives essentially as slaves. Am I still there? <gasps> Damn! I'm sure reception will improve once we get out of this pass, Miss Preska. No, I mean, do we think that the warlords are gonna put their guns down just because I'm here for an election year photo op? We're wasting our time. It only takes one devil to start an avalanche. Thanks, Agent Fujikuni. What the hell is this? Reynolds? Camelot 1 to Camelot 2. What's the holdup? I'll take care of it in a second. We gotta move this car. Jones is down. He's got a gun! Get down! Your watch. May I see it? Get up. You can imagine what can happen to a pretty thing like you in these mountains. What are you going to do to me? <laughs> that depends on the President of the United States. Or as you call him, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Kendall. When? I'll be there in 10 minutes. Bring me up to speed, Bobby. Two hours ago, the First Starters convoy was hit by militants in the mountains near Ganzar province. Approximately 30 minutes ago, the White House received that via email. Hello, Mr. President, and presumably members of the U.S. intelligence agencies. You may call me Ulrika. Though I assume you have a third dossier already. But I want you to say hello to my new house guest. I will make you a simple offer. My country is in disarray. It's fractured. We need a strong leader to unite it. And that leader shall be me. But I need your help. I ask of the U.S. To liberate my country from its shackles, eliminate the rivals pretenders to the throne, and install me as a legitimate president. You do this, and I will become a very, very good friend to America. You got 48 hours from the receipt of this email. Do not play me for the fool. If I see as much as one drone, one GI footprint in the dirt, and I'll start nailing pieces of her <gasps> back to you. Oh. Even such grotesque things are of great value to any number of America's enemies. <gasps> Holy fuck. Yeah, that about says it. Tell me the president is nowhere near the situation room. Oh, he wants blood, but has recused himself. Now, as far as the press is concerned, he's going through a routine medical procedure. The good news is we've managed to keep a lid on the kidnapping so far. So what do we know about this woman? She's one of five significant warlords in the territory. Now, we don't know her place of origin, date of birth, or if Orca is even her real name. What we do know is she trusts no men except for her right hand, Grigory Babishkova. Their base of operations is a former Soviet prison. It's a virtual fortress. The locals call it the Citadel. Frontal assault is out. This isn't Bin Laden's condo in Abbottabad. She'd be dead while we still try to kick in the front door. 
Well, that leaves us with the long shot, infiltration. Now, the problem with that is, other than Grigori, she's completely paranoid about all men. I mean, her psych evaluation says that it's almost pathological. Unresolved paternal... Daddy issues. Got it. So she'd be doubly on guard if some strange men started knocking at her door. What does she feel about women? Oh, her hate is unisex. She thinks women are weak and underestimates them. Then that's who we go with. Use her prejudice against her. We don't have anyone, ma'am. I mean, at least not qualified. The military changed their position on women in combat too soon for this one. And our own people? Anyone who could is too embedded, and then even if we could get them out without blowing their cover or getting them killed, we couldn't do it in time. We just need to think outside the box in this case. Or more accurately, inside the box. Two weeks up already. Pizza day. Today, Clay. Me too. You only got two weeks in the hole. My girl's still stuck in infirmary, breathing through a goddamn tube. I told her what would happen if she didn't stop shaking me down. You don't think you gotta pay me tribute like everybody else around here? No. And what was with the lackey? You should have told me to my face. Oh, Clay, you know I prefer talking about people behind their back. <laughs> I just wanted my goddamn pizza. I'm working. Don't worry. I'll pay you every penny you're worth. <clears throat> Captain Morgan? Yeah. Little privacy, please. I'll be keeping an eye out on you. Hey, big face. Fuck! You'll do. Mei Lin Fong? CIA? Give me a moment. I knew it was just a matter of time before you came crawling back. Cutie pie. Office perk. Surprise.
Ladies, I hope you excuse the rough treatment, but time is money. May Lin Fong, Explosives Ordinance Disposal, qualified multi-engine pilot. I also play piano. Then you turn self-styled techno-anarchists. Blew up what you described at the trial as a crooked Wall Street bank. Sentence to 15 years. Thank you. What's a Chinese girl know about making bombs anyway? Oh, the Chinese invented gunpowder. Or did they not teach you that in the trailer park? Tits? Catherine Morgan, Marine Corps qualified scout sniper. 10 years for shooting up your boyfriend's truck while he and his mistress were in it. Shocker. Not that great of a job. You missed. If I wanted them dead, I would have only needed two rounds. I was just teaching that cheap master lesson. Cassandra Clay, part of the pilot program to prove that women can serve in combat. Ranger school, then Delta. You were even given command of your own little unit. A real old G.I. Jane. Until you lost half your team in Afghanistan. Attacked your CO. 25 years for nearly killing him. You broke his arm, broke his legs. One in four places. Broke three ribs, which resulted in puncturing his lung. You squashed his eye socket. Look, I can't take credit for all of that. He was also hit by a truck. When you threw him into it. And then at your court-martial, not one peep of why. I couldn't recall. Saving the best for last. Raven. I'm not going to tell your real name. Agency courtesy and all. That, and I'd crush your fucking throat. You've seen everybody's dirty laundry. I think it's time they see yours. You see, Raven was one of us. We taught her how to seduce and kill. And she did it well, very well. Until she started moonlighting as a hit woman for hire. Private sector pay you good. We would have turned our backs on that, but then you killed one of ours. That paid even better. You're all pieces of shit. But today, you're lucky pieces of shit, because Uncle Sam wants you. Uncle Sam must be really fucking desperate. The president's daughter was kidnapped by an Amazonian she-bitch. And she has her hostage in some castle in the backwoods of Shitholistan. And she wants us to prop her up as new head of state. And we're going to tell her go to hell. First, we need to get Elise back. So this is the reason I'm putting this team together. Cat, long-range interdictions, communications. May Lin, explosives. Raven, close quarters wet work. Clay, tactical training and command. You get in, grab the girl, get out. Simple. Just the four of us, no backup. Right. Simple. Sounds like a suicide mission. Well, that's why we're sending in you four. How lovely. What's the job pay? We've been authorized to give each of you a full presidential pardon. And even you, Raven, with potential to be reinstated in your previous positions. Of course, that's going to depend on the success of the mission. How does that sound, Captain? What happens if we say no? Well, if you say no, then you go back to your hole and you serve maximum sentence. We might even put a few more charges on top of that depending on how vindictive the president feels when his daughter comes home in several small packages. So what's it going to be, ladies? When do we start? We already have.
Did the cook chow your chicken? May not be a state dinner, but it's more than virtually every resident here eats in a day. You shouldn't waste it. The United States doesn't do any negotiations. For the masses, no. But for you, the rules are different. And there's virtually no price your father wouldn't pay to get you back. What makes you think that he won't bomb you even further to the Stone Age if something happens to me? <laughs> so educated, yet so naive. The bullying Americans invading another poor nation for revenge. Not in an election year. The exit! Now! Silly girl. <laughs> She's dead. Try anything funny and I'll slit your throat. Go ahead, slit my throat. I give you permission. I am not fooling around here. <laughs> Neither am I. Shut up. I swear I'll do it. Do it. Kill him is the only way out of your door. Shut up. How disappointing. <laughs> I promise not to harm you. Not yet. But you do understand that insolence cannot go unpunished. Someone else has to be punished in your face. No! Let me go! No! 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 Please! Relax, please. Relax, relax, relax. No! Please! Changing rooms? Bashful, are we? You wanna unhook the back? Ladies, better than prison jumpsuits, isn't it? We put together something special for each of you that suits your individual tastes. German made Blazer R93 bolt action sniper rifle. Shoots a 338 in the full magnum with a five round load. We've customized it for you, Cat. The Harris bipod attachment and a 4x32 tactical mill dot scope with a ballistics computer built into the optics. Two twin Glock 19s. They shoot 9mm parabellums and a 14 round clip. Just the way I remember them. Come to me, girls. Triggers aren't broken in. These aren't mine. Your originals are in my office. I have them made into paperweights. No problem. I'm sure I'll find a way to break these in. I'm sure you will. ISA issue mark, mark four. Mark demolitions package. CPAT micro detonators, proximity and radio frequency switches, and next generation syntax. Multiple, concealable, and undetectable to all current bombs and tests. Anything else? What, no toys for me? Anybody can tell you're a purist. So we figured the best thing with you was to keep things simple. 
M1911A145 Colt. Old school gun for an old school girl. Woman. I'm in woman. You can pull your shirt up for me. What is that? It's a universal access number. You get into trouble, you dial this number, any phone in the world, it will ring back here. And this chip is undetectable to any metal detector. This might sting a bit. Ah! Oh. Fuck. What happened to old school memorization? What the shit? Decade. <laughs> what decade? The 80s? I am Vez. Number one in import export to Ganza. You're a smuggler. So was Han Solo. The important thing is that he says he can get you into the Citadel. How? I have men on inside who vouch for you. His second cousin to third sister's husband, but I know him like first cousin to second sister's husband. And for right price, he looks other way. Any more questions? Yeah. What's to stop us from splitting the moment we hit the road? You mean like the micro-explosive that's implanted subdermally in your carotid when you were all knocked out? Are you serious? No. We don't need insurance. Look at you. This is what you were built for. Road to Citadel is swarming with patrols. It's best to go low. Oh my god, what is that? It's not like gas piss. No, 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 it's not yet. It's gold. Do you really trust this guy? As much as I trust you. So, what do we do with Ulrika? Leave her. The brass wants to ask her a few choice questions before they shove her into a dark, deep hole. Sorry for ruining your fun. Elise is the objective. Rescue her, and you're free. The clock's ticking. Hey, I drive her. I know Porter. song in America. He's a Christmas song. It's a very stupid song. He's uh, Adolf Reindeer with Red Nose. You know this song, huh? He's about mutant uh, uh, reindeer with uh, bioluminescent nose. He's outcast. He's freak. All of the reindeer, they make fun of him. So let's pretend we're real military again. Chain of command and everything. Let's rescue Princess Peach. Let's get out pardons. Let's just never see each other again. Foxtrot, one, two, crypto check, over. Why are we slowing down? Zulrika's patrols, huh? Don't worry, I handle it. No, 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 no. We keep it cool. All right, we cameras. Cameras are calling us in. Guns away. Hide your face. Octila. Provision. Merchandise. Merchandise. Hmm. Oh.
See? Merchandise. Oh. I'm going to need to sample your merchandise. No, 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 no. You, you don't want this, huh? These women, they're good for housework only, huh? They have uh, disease. They call dick for them. Just a blow job there. <laughs> What's going on? Encountered hostiles. Our transpose out of commission. We lost Vez and the contact. Recommend we abort mission. That's a negative. I repeat, our ride a shit can and we have no lead. The mission is fucked. Strongly recommend we abort. In less than 24 hours, care packages with bits of the first daughter is gonna start showing up at Pennsylvania Avenue. You're smart. Just find another way to get in. Use your feminine charms. Charlie 23M. <sighs> Looks like we're walking, ladies. Talk about your shitholes. Well, they haven't had a functioning government since the Soviet Union. One can hardly expect them to maintain infrastructure. Cool guns. Thanks. American, yeah? Come to save us. Not exactly. I love America. You guys all have the best stuff, the best movies. We even have some gloves. Hey, be gone, kid. You don't look like army. We're not. You're mercs, aren't you? I knew it. I'm Lexi. You should let me join up with you. I'll help you, and then you bring me back to America with you. Deal? Look, kid, we're not nice women. We're not going on some fun adventure. We gotta do some very bad things to some very bad people, and it's no place for a teenager. I can take it. I got skills to pay bills. Ha, ha! Be gone, kid. Was that really necessary? Unless you want to be responsible for that girl's life? Yeah, it was. Contact HQ. Let Mona know that we're made of the town. I would have shot her ass. Yeah, I know. Shoot. Shit. My sad phone. Let's see. Let you knock, here I come! Shit. You take the doors, I'll meet you around back.
Ele não perde. We'd like to help, but uh, we need this. That was some nice work, though. So, can I join up? Go back to being a kid. Okay. But you'll never get into the Citadel. Not without me. That is why you're here, right? Ulrika? What do you know about it? I know that ever since yesterday, security has been tighter than ever. Something big is going on. Ulrika's going to be very cautious. Fortunately, I have an idea. All right, kid, what do you got? Every week, Ulrika sends a truck to the fort. And every week, that truck comes back. Always on the same day. Today. What's inside? Don't know. Sometimes guns, sometimes medicine, but always valuable. And I know exactly what route they take. Lexi, you want to be on the team? I think you guys should have let me use a bigger charge. All right, Annie Oakley, you're up. Target has been diverted. Use that piece of shit on me. Keeping body count to a minimum. You're no fun, Clay. What are you gonna do? You know what? Pull that trigger. I open a vein. Thank you for saving my ass, Maylin. My pleasure, Raven. Domo. That's a Japanese bitch. Same shit. Wow. What kind of missiles are these? ICBM. Which, Which is? Intercontinental ballistic missile with a minimum range of more than 5,500 kilometers, primarily designed for nuclear weapons delivery. Well, I guess I know what to get you for your birthday. You could put this on my Christmas list. We're not taking that, Raven. And we're not keeping those either, Maylin. Where are you gonna put them? Well, looks like we found our calling card. So, let's get into character and start calling. Thank you for returning my shipment. 
You've earned 30 seconds of my time. I suggest you use it to persuade me not to shoot you. Absolutely. We could have kept this bad boy and sold what was inside, but that would be peanuts compared to what we have to offer. Which is? If you will. Fanny Pong. Daughter of Pong Fang Shui, the industrialist. Third richest man in China. You broke the deal? We split the ransom. Checking identity online. See how easy it is to change Wikipedia. Shut up. Your offer is enticing. Now explain why it makes sense to me to not just kill you now and keep all the ransom for myself. Well, that's an option. But you'd be missing out on a very lucrative partnership. Pong is just the introductory offer. See, we're good at acquiring high-value packages like this. We just hate the paperwork. Well, you've come at a very inopportune time for me. I'm not sure I want to take on new distractions. If you don't want the easy payday, I'm sure one of your rivals will be interested. You knew coming in here that I would never let you give such a prize to any of them. Easy, mommy. Oh, no, you, you don't want to shoot us. Well, at least not me. Not if you want to know what I changed the missile's arm, this arm codes to. Because, see, without those, hi. These are about as effective as a couple of sparklers. What makes you think that I won't torture them out of you? Oh, I know you will. I just, I don't know if you've got the time. <laughs> Good. That's the difference between men and women. Brains, not thick-headed muscle. But I could keep pushing because I know you'll flinch first. But it's so rare to meet such industrious women. So for right now, I think it's more exciting if I uh, say, deal. Deal. Gregory, have the ICBM taken to the airfield and loaded on the plane. I want it ready to ship as soon as the funds are wired. Why don't you and your associates come with me and let's ham out the details of our arrangement? Oh, no. Not you, kid. Sorry. You stay here. What? That's fucking bullshit! Excuse me? I told you about this truck. This was all my idea! Stealing my truck was your idea? What's your name, girl? Lexi. Gregory, show Lexi our gratitude. Find us for you. Cool. Don't do it again. Oh, I almost forgot. For being incompetent enough to be foiled by a little girl's plans. And why don't we go to the new VIP suites? Come on. Why don't you make sure Lexi gets home safe? I was never big on sightseeing anyway. Good. We'll find something to do. So, what y'all do for fun around here? As you can see, your country's war on terror has been excellent for us. Suicide vests. Uh-uh. 
can't give away trade secrets to a stranger. Well, just as well. We're business partners. We use a sealed gelatin explosive pack with ceramic ball bearings, designed to pass right through metal detectors and bomb sniffers. Four brothers in the Middle East, fighting the imperialistic in their <laughs> whatever those crazies say. But they pay in cash. So if the fools want 72 virgins that bad, not my concern. If I were you, I would avoid your shopping malls for the next few weeks. Ladies, I spared no expense. Only I know the code to these. Call me paranoid. What is this? Business, in a sense. The oldest business. Prostitution. Every woman under my care are required to perform so. Money can only buy a man's loyalty for so long. So if you really want to control them, control the choice pussy in the region, and the rest is easy. Well, you better hope the choice pussy keeps getting themselves locked up. <laughs> well, of course. Sooner or later, every woman winds up in my prison. Ah. Here we are, a new resident. Congrats. Round the villages for revolt. Says you killed her sister. Ah, yes. The chamber made from yesterday. Oh, Gregory did make a mess of her. And then to just dump the body on the side of the river. Oh. Yeah. When Grigori is done with her, she'll be as obedient as a fool. Plan, soldier. We can't save her. Elise is the mission. I don't know who the bigger bitch is. You or her? I want to be up front with you, Miss Clay. I don't trust you. So why did you let us in? Well, let it never be said that I put paranoia before profit. Well, look. Listen, if you're too busy, why don't you just email me your schedule and we can do this another day. But we haven't even gotten to know each other yet. Your accent? American. Your pastor, your pause, military. <laughs> Forgive me for being curious. My army days are long gone. Dishonorable discharge. Go on. I had 20 good men underneath me. Not a prick of a CO. He said that women in combat were a joke. So he would 
give us missions that were more and more complicated, hoping that I would fail, and every time I succeeded, it just really pissed him off. One day he tasked us with clearing a cave complex in Wazaristan. Well, we walked in and we were looking at a hundred fighters. That was the beginning of 14 hours of hell. At the end of which I was one of the lucky ones. I only caught two bullets. Come to find out, my CO was intentionally withholding intel. Eleven good men died because he couldn't stand to see a woman in charge. So, when I got out of the hospital, I put him in one. <laughs> I knew there was something I liked about you, Clay. Your boss lady says we should make ourselves at home. part of an elite sorority. Women that have earned the command of men. So tell me, how did you earn yours? My father. He was a great military leader, but he would never have given me the power like he would a son. So I shot him in the eyes and I took it. But then I realized, staying on top, that's a challenge. Very true. Everyone wants to steal your power. So I've learned to distrust everyone. So forgive me for asking, Clay. Why of all days did you come today? Well, we didn't have the bomb yesterday. Perhaps. Perhaps there's more to it than that. <laughs> well, I can easily have my men make you tell me. But for a kindred spirit, I prefer a different approach. Hey there, fellas. Hoke. Favorite. Deal me in. Here's to the hole that never heals the more you lick it. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> I have a high profile prisoner. One that I'm sure will attract at least one rescue attempt. And here you are, right on schedule. Be truthful with me, and I'll be lenient. Even generous. I don't know what you're talking about. That's a bit of a lie. Your background, that wasn't. Your country may have faith in you, but I think you've lost faith in them. Isn't there something you would like to get off your chest? <laughs> I went again. <laughs> Your ass was really hoping for that knife on the river, huh? And you. I'm gonna give you a free tip. Stop with that blinking shit. Everybody knows that means you ain't got nothing. Damn. Sachi, <laughs> Sachi, Sachi. You're gonna have to wait till next hand to be dealt in, new booty. I don't feel me. Even if the stakes are high and the game is rigged. Oh, <laughs> 
Urabsa, Sabima. Do it, my Shoot me. So tempting, baby. But first, I need you to call your boss. They know I'm not to be disturbed while I'm discussing business. Where were we? Thanks for the drink. Cheers. To nipples. Because without them, titties would be pointless. Two doors, make a right. Clayton, back. Clear, go. Thanks, Kat. Maylin, it's me. Try and keep it quiet. No boom, no bang, no fun. Oh. What'd I miss? Oh, shit. Oh. Come on, princess. Elise. Elise Prescott. Yes? Step back from the door. Jehovah's Witness, can we talk about Jesus Christ? Come on. <laughs> you guys better get moving. Okay, Raven, how are we at the Motors Pole? I got you covered, Clay. Okay, just keep on that track. You've got a clear path. Yeah. Anybody in your tail? Negative. Good. Hit the lights! My weapon. My weapon. Clay, you owe me a bottle of single malt. What the fuck am I gonna do with a party, Clay? Get a job? Find Mr. Wright? 
You and I both know damn well I'll be back in the box within a year. So I made a change to the plan. Mm hmm Made a last minute deal with Gregory. Not that he was in any position to argue. <laughs> and Eureka agreed. Meet my new minister of tourism. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna wine and dine all the Americans. Uh-huh. Get them to make their movies here. Hell, might even fuck George Clooney. With a strap. Okay, we're gonna run for it. Are you serious? Play. Take her to her shell. The other two, do as you please. Was that American? Shut the fucking bitch. Hey, Grigori. The girl that helped them, what was her name? Lexi. Ah, Lexi.
Oh, fuck. Okay, now go to sleep, okay, sweetheart? I'm gonna take you to America, okay? <laughs> you can go to the mall. <laughs> We're gonna watch crappy movies on cable TV. You can go to the prom. You do all those things that teenagers are supposed to do, okay? Just don't go to sleep. <laughs> oh my God. I don't want to just tell you. It's so nice to write to kids. on her. You know what the problem is with Chinese cuisine? Too much MSG. Never enough shock. Come <laughs> on! 
You're fucking kidding me. The building has started. Excellent, excellent. I'll stay and watch. But I've got Iran, North Korea, and Al Qaeda very interested in paying for the honor of killing the first daughter. Gregory, they're all yours. Enjoy. You can have the Oriental. The white woman is mine. Boss, we have a situation you should see up here. Chayato. Not the finger on this one until I return. This one? Tell us, please. <laughs> need us for a lease. I'm here for everyone. <sighs> everyone. So what's the plan? We go PMS from hell on this place. Hit it. Clay. Rika, you've armed all the prisoners. Well, then you better unarm them. With pleasure. Get the brat. So what? Uh, I'm your bitch now? You are whatever I'm paying you to be.
Them and then there was a tunnel. It imploded. I don't even. Oh, I lost them. If you'd been any closer, we'd be scooping out with a spatula. I can't lose her. I have to, I have to go back. Listen, even if you could get through, you'd never catch up. Wait, the Soviets were really boring. They used the same blueprints for all of their prisons. Huh? Okay. Am I really the only one who reads Cold War Architectural Digest? Okay, what is the, what is the point? No, no, no. Okay, the tunnel. Uh, it leads to a structure, a, a church, I think, in the village. Right below us. This tunnel. Yep. Okay, great. I'll get us some wheels. Okay, go, go, go. Come on. She's the mission. The whole reason you came. And you don't want to die, do you, girl? Come on, sweetie. Tell the nice lady how scared you are. How you just want to go home. Elise. How much would you give to stop Ulrika from ever hurting another woman? Everything. Me too. Hey, 
kitty cat. Are you gonna sit there and admire the view, or are you gonna shoot back? My rifle's broken. Maybe you should try some evasive driving. No what? Stop you bickering, you two. You want evasive driving? Hang on, bitches. They got a rocket launcher. Okay, I've got two rounds left. It's all on you, no pressure. Two rounds? Yeah. I thought you never missed. Wow, with the 1911 from a moving vehicle and a rocket launcher? I believe in you. Hold it steady! Ladies and bitches, this is your captain speaking. Please buckle up. There's an Asian woman behind the wheel. We've been cleared to taxi by me.
tracking isn't good enough. I need eyes on that plane. I don't care if you need F-22s from the fucking moon. Just do it. Ma'am! We have a visual. They're coming in hot. that hole you were saving for, Rika? I think all you'll need is a shoebox. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Raven? That bitch's <laughs> wings have been clipped. <laughs> she, she's dead as a dodo. <laughs> she, she, yeah. I got shot. I have, I have a bullet in my, my shoulder. Ma'am, the jet is fueled ready to go. Miss Prescott? Let's get you out of here. Your dad's waiting for you. Thank you. I'm gonna make sure that my father does something to help all the women here. Really help them. Not just some PR stuff. Hey, Elise. You sure you don't want to be part of the team? It'd be a great addition. Somebody's gonna make sure you guys get your pardons. Hell of a job, Clay. You and your team. Got another assignment for you. If you're interested. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. Hey, all these ladies are drinking. Damn straight. It's gotta be a ladies' night somewhere in this place. Adiós. 